Hello chickens! It's your fanbot overlord here, CC to Sist, and boy do I have a video for you! I am fully aware I don't have lipstick on and I'm mortified, but there's all with good reason because in today's video, I'm so excited, I'm doing an unboxing and a product review of Amanda Lepore's lipstick and lip gloss. I've never hit the order button so fast in my life. I was scrolling through Instagram and let me tell you something, whenever I do my lip look, I've always modeled it off Amanda Lepore's signature big, juicy, glossy, candy apple, red, glossy lip. I'm obsessed with it. So it's genius that she came out with this product. I don't even think I read the description. I, I, th I just went straight to the link. So I want to get straight into the video because I cannot stand not having lipstick on for a moment longer. I, this arrived two days ago and I have been waiting anxiously to film this before I actually open it because I, I'm a stickler for authenticity. So in today's video, we're going to do an unboxing, a first impressions, a product review. Uh, we're gonna get really into the nitty gritty of it. And the benefit of me being such a small channel is that no one is paying me to do anything. So you know you'll get my brutally honest review. So without further ado, let's get into the video. If you don't know who I am, my name is Cece Desist. I'm a cabaret performer from Perth, Australia. I like to sing, dance, and make fabulous videos on my YouTube channel. You can follow me on all my socials, which are at CC Desist everywhere, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And for everything all in one place, you can always go to www.ccdesist.com. So let's take these bad boys off. Oh, oh my god, where to start? I mean, the envelope is already adorable, branded straight away, and she's even sealed it with a kiss. I love it. I love this metallic red envelope. Like, this in itself is a great, you know, way to warm up the crowd, so to speak. It can only go up from here. Oh! Oh! Oh my god, it's in a little velvet pouch! Oh! And I'm wearing red velvet! It's almost as if she knew! Oh, yeah. Oh, oh okay! Okay, you ready for the big reveal? Da, 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 da. What we have here is we have the Amanda Lepore lipstick. It's got her signature on it. It's a bullet style lipstick. And this is the lip gloss. Also has her signature on it. I'm really excited. Ooh, it's almost got little sparkly iridescent fleckle, fleckles, flex. Speckles? I didn't pass English class. Yes, I did. In Australia, you have to, or else you can't graduate. <laughs> what is that? The lipstick is 3.5 grams, and the lip gloss, 7 grams slash 25 ounces. We're doing science today. Yeah, it kind of feels a bit, like, maybe cheap plasticky. That's just on the outside though, and I could be wrong. Packaging isn't my strong suit, you know. Except for this packaging, you know. But this is also cheap plastic, so I can relate. Oh my god, I'm just so excited. So let's break the seal. Ooh. Oh, there it goes. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Alright, give her a whiff. It smells kind of like chocolate. Ooh, love her. Stunning shade of red. Yep, good, good. All good things. Yep, you get about this much. So let's do a little swatchy swatch. Okay. So off the top of the bat, it's pretty standard red lipstick. It looks like it has some sort of iridescent sort of sheen to it. I'm guessing it's probably going to be a satin finish. It's got more like ruby or pink undertones than like a real blue red. And I'm so glad that I got them together as a set. Mainly because my favorite lip gloss for so long has been the NYX NYX Candy Apple Butter Gloss. But I've got a feeling it's being discontinued. Every time I go back into Priceline, I, I can't find it, but I can find like another shade, and it's not quite the right one. So I'm really excited to try this one. So I'm gonna give that a pop. Oh, give it a whiff. Oh, this smells like chocolate too. Ooh. I'm gonna swatch her on my wrist, but we know it's gonna be a different finish over an actual lipstick. Just first impressions. Oh, okay, this is... 
I'm not good at this, guys. So you've got the gloss there, the lipstick there. Sometimes when you get a lip gloss in a particular color, it's never super pigmented. This isn't bad. The pigment's not bad on this. I'm really excited to try them out together. So I'm going to go ahead and line my lips and just do my lips as I normally would. And that always includes lining them. So I'm going to line my lips and be right back. So I've got my little Vincent Price mustache on and I'm ready to give her a whirl. So I'm going to go in with the lipstick first. I'm very excited about her. First impressions. Let's go. Yeah, here we go. Mm. Okay. Oh. That's a really pretty color. So right off the bat, we know it's not a matte finish. I would say it's more of a slight satin finish. And what really does that is that there's, uh, there's that iridescence sort of embedded into the lipstick. And you can kind of feel that when you're applying it, it's, um, I wouldn't say gritty. No, not at all gritty. Um, you know, you can just feel that that's what's in the lipstick. It's very comfortable. The main difference is between liquid lipsticks and bullet lipsticks like this is that liquid lipsticks they dry down it's like a paint and they dry down very dry and matte and long lasting the uh, downside to that is that they're not super comfortable and they can sort of crumble away depending on the lipstick sometimes reapplying it can sort of make it a bit more crumbly a bullet lipstick like this where it's basically a cream the whole time yeah it won't last while you do things like you know eating and drinking a lot but it's a lot more comfortable when it does fade away it fades away rather than crumbles like a liquid lipstick and reapplying it is just really easy i really like the shade i really like that finish that's really pretty yeah yeah it's good that's a really nice that's a nice lipstick yeah yeah it's definitely not transfer proof but that's to be expected with bullet lipsticks like that. Let's get straight into the lip gloss because this is, I think, what's going to really sell me on getting this as a package like deal again. Um, so I'm really excited about the lip gloss because it's, it's it looks really it looks really delicious. Oh, I already love it. I can already feel it doesn't seem super sticky or goopy, and I like that. Wow, oh, it goes on really nice. So that's what, I guess, one application. I'm pretty greedy with my lip gloss and I do like to go, you know, in and in, over and over again. Um, but let's get a closer. It's quite nice, yeah. I do like that. First impressions, it's like very, um, it's nice, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's all right. It is what it is. A lot of lip glosses can feel really sticky and really gloopy. This definitely doesn't feel, actually, it just feels like I'm wearing like a nice like lip balm. Um, I definitely don't feel sticky. And like, you know how sometimes when you wear like a lip gloss and like it sort of like, your lips can kind of stick together and they can sort of like gather in the cracks and stuff. This doesn't do that at all. So that's really nice. I really like that. But I'm, I'm greedy and I almost always do more than one layer of lip gloss. So to be realistic, I will pop another one on. Mmm. Oh yeah, let me tell you about the second layer. The second layer of lip gloss is where I feel the magic is happening. It really gives much more of a true red finish when you put a second layer on. I'm much glossier. This is really quite stunning, I gotta tell you. I feel beautiful. I wish that I could do a, you know, a wear test, but you know, it's 8 p.m. on a Wednesday night. Where am I going exactly in life? Let's not go there. That's dark. Um, it feels so comfortable. I cannot stress this enough. A lot of lipsticks can really feel uncomfortable. I feel really comfortable in this. This is a stunning combination. It was a really smart move for her to come out with a lip product. She also released a, a hand Swarovski um, lipstick as well, which uh, was a little out of my price range. Um, but I don't blame her for that price being what it is. It's a hand crystal. This is fine though. I love the little pouch. Final thoughts. What are they? Do I have any? Do I have thoughts? Who knew? Let's start with the lipstick. The lipstick is... it's fine. 
I wouldn't describe the lipstick as particularly like creamy. If you were to compare it to like something quite high end, it's definitely not on par with something like MAC. I would safely say that my favorite red lipstick to this day is still hands down without a doubt uh, the Stiller liquid lipstick in the shade Besso. That's still my favorite. It's a liquid lipstick, but it's comfortable like a bullet lipstick, but it's pigmented like a liquid lipstick. It has the best of both worlds. It's To this day, it is still my favorite, but it, that's a very high bar that I'm setting for red lipsticks because it is very good. Look, I wouldn't rate the lipstick itself as amazing as other lipsticks that I have tried in the past, but I'm, st you know, I'm still really proud of her for doing this and shes I still love her to bits. Um, and I will still use this because I love to have an array of red lipsticks for any occasion and I actually don't own a tube red lipstick like this. So now that I have one, I'm really glad that I do. Yeah, look, it went on fine. Uh, I like that it has a nice satin finish. Um, it's okay, yeah. Now I live in Australia and this is a company that ships from America. So. It, for me to buy things that come from America, they have to be, the wow factor has to really blow me out of the water for me to go, you know, do the whole, the waiting game with American shipping and, you know, pay for the international shipping and such. So if this was something that they sold in Australia, maybe I would go out and get it a bit more often. At the same time though, I can see myself being more likely to continue to invest in lipsticks that I am already a big fan of, like the Stiller Liquid Lipstick. Um, but for now I'm happy that I have a tube lipstick and I'm so happy that it has the Amanda Lepore signature on it. Honestly, the, the design uh, gives me sort of like Christian Louboutin vibes of the, sign the red signature, the, the, the font. I really like that. It's very pretty. I will move on to the lip gloss because I was most impressed with this. I think that if I were to repurchase anything ever again, it would be the lip gloss. It's stunning. It is so comfortable. It's not sticky. It almost feels like nourishing, you know? Putting a second layer of this really sold it for me. It really just brought it all together and I'm pretty confident that this could work on its, maybe not on its own, but over like, any other red lipstick. So if I'm more likely to purchase the Stiller red lipstick again, then um, I'm glad that I have this in my kit to go over the top. I dare say I might like it more than the NYX Candy Apple lip gloss, which has been a favorite of mine for so long. Again, if I can purchase something in Australia at home, as opposed to having to buy this online every time, you know, and ship it from America, then from a consumer perspective, I'm more likely to do that. If that's not something that's important to you, then I really recommend the Amanda Lepore Lip Gloss. It's really quite nice. It's a beautiful finish, not sticky at all, really comfortable, and I'm not worried about it migrating to my teeth. It do I don't feel like it's gonna do that. Unless it already has, then I've got egg on my thighs. Final thoughts, the lipstick is only okay, but the lip gloss is really good. That's it in a nutshell, that's how I feel. I love the little bag, I love the red envelope, and I'm definitely gonna carefully peel off this little lipstick mark and pop that in my scrapbook for later. I'm a big Amanda Lepore fan, I feel a little bit closer to her now, now that I have her lipstick. and. Even if I didn't love the lipstick itself as much as the lip gloss, I'm, I don't mind that, you know, I supported Amanda Lepore in this little venture because I really, I'm a really big fan. I love her story. I love her look. And, you know, um, when I made this dress, I had her in mind. Uh, so, um, yeah, I, I'm a big fan, and I'm more than happy to own a little piece of Amanda. Would I buy this again? The lip gloss, most likely. The lipstick, probably not. It's not a one-of-a-kind lipstick, and I don't feel like I couldn't get something locally that's just as good, if not better. However, the lip gloss, really good. Really happy with the lip gloss. I do love the finished product, and I think the lip gloss is just the, the glossy cherry on top, so to speak. 
So I feel like a beautiful red-lipped princess right now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video was helpful in you making a decision as a consumer. I highly suggest that you click like and subscribe to my channel. All engagement really helps me out as a very, very, very small creator. I'm going to sign off now. Oh, don't tell anyone there's a hole in my glove. I'll fix that before French, I promise. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Thank you so much for joining me. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Kisses. Mwah, mwah. Bye. Mwah.